Anand Lakshmi from Andhra Pradesh. I am currently pursuing B.Tech third year from RBR NGC College of Engineering. Our project is speech emotion recognition using deep learning. The aim of the project is detection of emotions elicited by the speaker while talking. In particular, we are presenting three different classification models such as CNN, MLP and SPM based on acoustic features such as MFCC. The model has been trained to classify eight different emotions as neutral, happy, sad, anger, fearful, disgust and surprised. For this evaluation, the dataset is built using 5255 samples from RAVDES and TEST datasets. The accuracy scores finally are about 86%, 83% and 82% for CNN, MLP and SPM respectively. My team members will be implementing the model and also will be explaining the implementation details. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Aditya Karmukov from Father Rodics Institute of Technology. I will show you implementation of MMP classifier. So this is the model. MMP classifier for speech emotion recognition. Our data set consists of RAVDES and tests. Having audio files, speech and song file. Our data set is mounted on Google Drive. Now we are installing libraries. Librosa sound file, NumPy, SKM and PowerDio. Librosa is for uh, music and audio analysis and now we are importing our libraries Librosa, Soundfile, OS, Flow, Pickle, NumPy, ZNP from SKLearn model selection uh, we are importing train test spread from SKLearn neural network MLP classifier from met SKLearn metrics uh, importing accuracy score now we are defining extract feature function to extract uh, MFCC chroma mel from sound file. This uh, function has four parameters. Finally, MFCC chroma mel x comma sample rate. We are loading the file. Finally, uh, resample type Kaiser first. If chroma is true, then we get short Fourier transform of x and store the result in empty numpy array. If MFCC is true, then we are finding out the mean and stored the result in edge stack function if uh, same for chroma and mel and then return the result now we are defining the dictionary to hold numbers and emotions uh, available on ravdes and test data set uh, the eight emotions are neutral calm happy sad angry fearful disgust surprise so we are observing all these eight emotions now we are loading the data and extract the features from each sound file this is the path of our data set and we are fe extracting features MFCC chroma mel uh, then we are splitting the data set to training and testing keeping uh, keeping 75 percent for training and 25 percent for testing now we are observing the shape of training and testing data set 3939 is for training shape and uh, 31313 is for testing test shape number of features extracted are 180 now we are uh, using map classifier it's a internal neural network for classification uh, and it's also called feed forward artificial neural network so here we have kept alpha 0 0.01 batch size 256 epsilon 1e dash 08 hidden layers 300 uh, learning rate adaptive and max iteration 500 then we are fit and train the model so we are activation is relu here and learning rate adaptive now we are predicting our act uh, predict the accuracy of our model so why predict in a model dot predict x test to calculate uh, accuracy of our model we have imported uh, as from SQL uh, this function accuracy score uh, and uh, we are round rounding the accuracy uh, to two decimal places uh, and we got 83.32% accuracy. This is our classification report where we got 83% accuracy and this is our F1 score we call precision and these are confusion matrix. Uh, thank you.
Hello, this is Khadija Mohammed Hanifa of Vidya Academy of Science and Technology, Kerala. I will start with the first phase of our project that is feature extraction. We have used the Librosa Python library to extract the audio feature from all the audio files by loading resample files and computing the MFCC feature with the Librosa library functions. Corresponding emotion class is also noted. Both RAVDES and test data sets are loaded for the selected 8 emotion classes and added to a data set containing the features and labels obtained using the extract feature function. Here we see the SVM algorithm for training the obtained data set. We have kept the training and test sets in the standard 80 by 20 ratio. We have created a pipeline that scales the input using standard scalar before classifying using the SVM SVC classifier. Note that the accuracy increases by a large margin after scaling. The training and testing scores were found to be 86 and 82 respectively, suggesting that the model generalizes well. The classification report and confusion matrix for the model is shown here, indicating best performance on the neutral class and worst performance on the calm class. Clearly, there is room for improvement with more data. So, hello guys, I am Abhay Gupta, second year computer engineering student, pursuing my BE degree from Vivekanand Educational Society Institute of Technology, Mumbai. So now I'm going to tell you about the CNN model which we have used. So for training the model, we have used uh, RevDash and the test dataset. From the RevDash dataset, we have used 1,440 speech files and 1,012 song files from the RevDash dataset and 2,800 files from the test dataset. So now I'm going to tell you about the CNN layer which we have used uh, in this model. So first we have a convolution 1D layer. Then we have an activation function which is a ReLU activation function. Then we have a dropout layer. And then we have a max pooling layer to avoid overfitting. Next, and again, we have a convolution layer, but this time we have increased the number of filters from 64 to 128. And similarly, we have used a relu activation function, dropout function, and a max pooling layer to avoid overfitting. Then we have a third convolution layer in which we have used 256 filters. Then we have an activation layer, which is a relu activation layer. Uh, then we have a dropout uh, function. We have a flatten layer to convert the uh, n-dimensional uh, matrix we get from the above layers to a one-dimensional matrix to provide to a dense layer. And then finally, the dense layer provides the input to the uh, softmax activation function we have used. And then softmax activation function gives the different probabilities which we get by training our model. So to, in total, we have used 209672 trainable parameters in this model. So we have trained our model on 200 epochs. So after 200 epochs, we can see our accuracy. The test uh, training data accuracy is 90.39% and the validation set accuracy is 85.47%. So as you can see, there is not much difference between the training set accuracy and the validation set accuracy. So there is no overfitting in our model. You can see that also from the loss graph here and the accuracy graph. This is a Django framework where we have deployed our deep learning model. So in this, we can upload audio files, choose files. So we can go to the data set which you want. If you want that, this cheese, and we upload the file. File successfully uploaded. Then we go to the make a prediction tab. And then we sele uh, select the audio file. If we select this, we can hear to the file. Then we can go back. Then we select the audio file. And then we can predict. So as you can see, the emotion of the speaker in your file is sad, 